Wow, you guys are cool. The sky is beautiful, you're beautiful. And we're playing some of our favorite music that really inspired us to do what we do. Uh, and yeah, we, we're just thrilled to be here. I don't really have a whole lot to say about it. So we're just gonna keep playing music. We're gonna get goofy for you now. For those of you that don't know and care about the names of instrumental songs, that first tune is called Future Man, and then that, that one we just did is, is called Texas Red, and now we're going to play you a goofball tune that's entitled Pink Flamingos.
Thanks a lot, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Over here on the five-string banjo, everybody, that's Wes Corbett. Fiddle the eyes back. <laughs> on the dobro is Mr. Mike Witcher. <laughs> on the mandolin is Dominic Leslie. And our fearless leader in this endeavor on the fiddle, Mr. Christian Settlemeyer. And on the upright bass, Mr. Daniel Kimbrough. some uh, awesome audio wet cabling issues. The good news is, is no one has been electrocuted or killed, or both. So we'll take this opportunity to listen to Christian and Mike and make sure that we're happy. And thank our sponsors, John and Jill. More about them later, because I'm finished talking. No, I'm still. But I'd also like to thank John and Jill. This song is called Duke and Cookie.
Thank you all so much. We'd like to invite our good friend Jordan Tice out to play guitar on this next very, very beautiful number. Hello, folks. Hello. How's everybody doing? Good. Nice. Well, I gotta say, we're all overjoyed to be playing this music for you guys. We have a lot of love for those guys and this music that they made, and we know you do too. And uh, I have to say, I was also there at the Telluride Bluegrass Festival in 1990 when they played this music, and they unleashed it upon the world, so... I've been studying for a little while, but thanks so much for listening and for loving this music and for coming out to the Green Mountain Bluegrass Festival. Yay! all been at the festival all four days. How you guys feeling? Oh, we get to see you now. How you look beautiful. How you feeling? All right.
Thank you so much. We'd like to invite our good friend Joe K. Walsh out to twin an iconic mandolin part with Dominic on Macedonia.
How about that? Dominic and Joe. And how about that Dobro solo, Mike? We don't need, this is just so fun. You're making it really fun. Thank you.
like to invite Jordan Tice back up. How about a hand for your crew with volunteers putting up with the weather and all the stuff? Yeah, yeah. And we would like to send a huge shout out to, you could call him the sixth or the eighth, but really the most important member of our band, Mr. Ian Thompson is mi mixing sound out there. And I know it sounds amazing. Thank you, Ian. And I would also like to thank all of the stage crew here. Lindsay is doing an amazing job with a very complicated task with our monitors. And everybody that's working here is just incredible. This festival is truly blossoming into one of the greatest, Dom said it already this weekend, greatest new bluegrass festivals that there is. And we're so glad that you're here to spend this evening with us.
that's Jordan Tice on the guitar, y'all. You can catch his double sets back to back, late night tonight. We'll see y'all there. Hey there. <laughs> Been silent over there for a while. Um, I just want to say, it, it means, I mean, I, I know everybody has said this, but this, Bela Freck was the first banjo player I ever heard. He's the, the reason why I play the banjo. So uh, getting to play this record, like getting to learn the whole thing, the opportunity to do this means the world to me. And I, I think I can say that for all of us. So, yeah, thanks for listening. This is amazing. Yeah. That's Wes Corbett on the banjo, y'all. Daniel Kimbrough on the bass. Dominic Leslie on the mandolin. Mike Witcher on the dobro. And there are three people here that uh, this whole thing would not be possible without. And of course, the maximum possible thanks, gratitude, and many hugs backstage and possibly drunken tears with uh, John and Jill Turpin, who are incredible people. That's... And the third person would, would be our illustrious fiddle player. He has become a tour manager and a flight booker and a rental car wrangler and a shuttle driver yeller at her and then apologize her to because of sleep deprivation and common sense from a significant other. And he knows the most about coffee and he knows the most about how to make you feel like a good friend and that's Christian Settlemeyer. Thank you, Daniel. John and Jill uh, and I had a chat after last year's festival and this sort of accidentally came up. Uh, I was talking about how the cultivation that they've created with just trying to get young artists to collaborate and just be themselves outside of their normal boxes and just be just be you be you and just like do your thing and like we don't care it's gonna be great like that's the whole vibe of this festival and I told them that I had just read uh, the the Telluride Bluegrass Festival 40th anniversary book and it's really cool uh, I don't know if any of you have ever seen this it's a very nice coffee table book highly recommend it um, but they've got the, the, the festivals from one to now, which I think we're at like 47 or something like that. But the point is, they show all the artists that played throughout the years, and there was this kind of core group that kept coming back. Not just the house band, that now what is now the house band, but uh, all, all kinds of musicians that were doing their thing, and you could kind of see that they would come back year after year after year, and then all these iconic albums that they made during those periods of time were happening. And this album, came out of that and we just realized today we were talking about how cool it is to play this music on the 30th anniversary of its inception. This album came out in 1989. Uh, Telluride Sessions uh, is the name of the album that we're playing for you if you don't know already. And just, this is freaking cool. So thanks. We got one more for you on the album. It's track 10. It's called Blue Men of the Sahara.
Thank you, everybody.